welcome to the new video of Alias Teacher TV. Today it's Alias Subtim Modeling. I show you how to do a surfboard. Uh, if you want to follow step by step to the download link and install my prep set. Again, uh, first thing is I go to top view and start in the Subti menu with a box, Subti box. So position, I go to box mode also, scale it to the width of the picture here, underlying, and then I scale it. And I go closer, and I go to a command called extrude, because now I extrude piece by piece additional segments. So this is the first one. Make it a bit thinner. Then extrude another one, hitting space bar. This one has to be way thinner. Spacebar again, go there, make it thinner. Spacebar, and we are right in the front end. So that's it. Pick nothing. And then same thing in the other direction. I go to the extend command again, hit the face, extrude the first piece, narrow it, and then Hit spacebar, and one additional one is enough. So now I'm finished. I have the rough shape in the box mode. And if I switch to smooth mode, I can see the surface model. So if we have a closer look now, we can see that we have to do a bending in the front and in the rear end. So I pick the whole thing, move it up so that it fits more to the side photo. And then I go here, I switch on the CVs, so that's important. And picking them, moving them up, that's all you have to do. So it's just picking CVs, moving, and we get a nice shape. And it's pretty thick here in the front, so I have to pick the CVs here and move both of them a bit up to thin the front. And in the back, same thing happens. CVs will be picked, and I go up. And also this series. So that's pretty simple. With the same approach, we can do the fins, of course. I put the board in the meantime to a certain layer and switch it off. So now again, starting with the box, box mode, squeezing it. And we have to extrude the whole thing. Oops. Maybe we have to squeeze it a bit further to narrow the width. And then extrude it. Here is the extrusion for our sub D modeling. Go there, go to the left view. Pick it and extrude it. Rotate a little bit, squeeze it. So that's it, maybe there, and hit spacebar, of course, then snap it, extrude it, rotate a little bit, and scale it. Hit spacebar, and the last thing, rotate a bit, and scale it. So that's it, because when you go to smooth mode, you get a nice fin. So just one more thing. Alice is talking about hybrid modeling. So what about that? Can we use this for this exercise? i show you. I switch on my surfboard, and what I need for my fin is a slot. 
and this slot I will create using nerve surfaces. That means I don't go to subtees, I go to surfs and I create a cylinder in the top view, switching off here in the shading, snapping so that we're within symmetry, scaling a bit, moving it, and then in 3D making the positions correct. All right, so ch I, oh, sorry. Oops, I check everything in shading. Not completely okay, move a bit upward. And to have the visibility correct, I delete the top surf and the bottom surf of this. Okay, now it's time for the fillet. And a fillet between subtee surfaces and nerve surface. It's the usual command, surface fillet, chordal, and let's say five. I click the two surfaces, or three of them, two subtees and one. For the cylinder and I create the fillet. It seems that there is no trimming so let's see. All right trimming was off so I put it on and here we go. Kind of a huge slot for such a small fin but it shows the principle how you can do it. The same thing can be done with trimming. So on the other side I show you quickly I go to my surface manipulation commands, three intersection, trimming. This is the first one. And I trade this one and that one. I get true crosses, green ones. And I put in another cross, which says discard, and it's cut. Now another three trimming for this surface with, of course, this one. And I keep this. And the one here with this one, keep that one, go, and that's it. So I'm finished. So I have a slot which go through, has a fillet on top, and has an intersection at the bottom. So this is hybrid modeling. This is what it's all about. And I will show you another exercise, which I will introduce now, right after this. In this lesson, I will show you how to model this Cinquecento using alias sub modeling and combination with the usual alias NURBS tools. 